Hi everyone, it's Brittany and Yana from Fluffy Kitty. We're back today to tell you how to properly cut your cat's nails and we're going to be featuring the Shiny Pet Nail Clippers. things first, you want to sit your cat on your lap so that they feel comfortable. This is really important so that they don't struggle when you try to cut their nails. Once your cat is on your lap comfortably, the next thing you're going to do is take your cat nail clippers and you're going to first identify the quick so you don't want to cut that part at all. So to identify the quick, you're going to extend the paw gently. You just press on their pad. Can you see the nail bed extended? The quick is this slightly pink colored part that I'm pointing at here. The part that you would like to cut is the very tip point. So you definitely don't want to hit the quick, which is where all the nerves are. Once you've identified the quick and your cat is still comfortable, you've got your nail clippers handy, you're going to start cutting. So this part, this nail, for example, is pretty sharp at the ends, if you can see past all of Yoda's fluff. So we're going to quickly cut the nail. And you, you see the cut is clear, it's clean, and it's sharp blades so that it doesn't split the nail, which is what you want in cat nail clippers. Once you've done one nail and your cat is okay, then you can go ahead and proceed by cutting the other nails. <laughs> so the important thing to remember is to really know your cat. So once they start getting agitated, Yoda will sometimes push my paw away, he'll start to bite my hand. And the important thing is to just really know your cat and to go with their schedule, not yours. So if you're only able to do one paw, per day, then only do one paw day. Make sure to check the rest of the nails. Identify any really long ones. You don't have to cut all of them. If they're bunted at the end, if they're not sharp, there's no need to cut those. But if they are very pointy, then just snip off the tip. Remember, to not cut the quick. And then make sure to reward your cat. Tell me the good boy or girl. Then you can let them down. And that's it. So, a few final thoughts about our shiny pet nail clippers. We really like them because they're very handy. They're perfect size for cats, so you don't have something bulky when you're trying to wiggle around their paws. Um, the grip is super comfortable and non-slip, which is important because you don't want to accidentally cut to the quick. So thank you all for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed our tips on how to cut your cat's nails. If you would like your own pair of the Shiny Pet Nail Clippers, click on the link below this video in the description or otherwise read our full blog post about the Shiny Pet Nail Clippers and how to cut your cat's nails. Thank you guys. We hope to see you soon again on the blog. Make sure to subscribe and follow Yoda on his adventures.